Thousands of students continue to attend the University of Maiduguri in northeastern Nigeria despite at least a dozen attacks by the Boko Haram insurgency since the start of 2017. Chika Oduo reports from Maiduguri on how the university has been able to stay open and some would say even thrive amidst the constant danger. At the University of Maiduguri's radio station, DJs not only have to play music, they also try to keep students calm. We make it a priority to do that, to keep them positive. Of course, to try and stay relaxed, focus on their studies. That's because the university of 20,000 students is in the city where the terrorist group Boko Haram was formed and where it continues to launch deadly attacks. Throughout Boko Haram's nine-year war against the Nigerian government, the university was never targeted until January 2017. Tasiu Hassan remembers that very first attack. Campus actually, uh, on that very day, even me too, I have examination, but the university management had to cancel all the examination. I found myself in a very, very terrible situation, uh, in such a way that I have even started thinking of going back home. But he stayed, like many of his classmates. Since then, the university has been hit at least 12 times, university officials told VOA. Suicide bombers have detonated explosives at the school on separate incidents. About a dozen members of the geology department were kidnapped in June. The university is the most prestigious and largest public educational institution in northeastern Nigeria. The students are defying Boko Haram's message, which denounces Western education as sinful. Today, students are taking their final exams. The university has never closed for a single day throughout Boko Haram's insurgency. To show how resilient we are, uh, to show how much sacrifice we are making, and uh, that is the true reflection of the Maiduguri spirit. We are here because we have a responsibility to keep the system going. Somebody has to be around to do the job, no matter how bad the situation is. Last year, authorities dug a 27-kilometer-long trench around the university's eastern perimeter, which faces Cameroon, where many Boko Haram insurgents operate. The trench is designed to slow down Boko Haram fighters who often invade cities on motorcycle. Every day, sniffer dogs carry out inspections. They're looking out for bomb chemicals and weapons. No other public Nigerian university in the region has this level of security. It's why Esther Clement continues to go to school here. Even though there's insurgency, we are secured. As you can see, even before you come to the gate of the to the gate one, um, there are securities here and there. At the gate, at the gate of the hostel, there are securities. Even when there is bomb blast, they call us to come us down. They secure the whole hostels. We don't go out. Despite the obvious risk. The student population is growing, and current students say the school is actually getting stronger in the fight against Boko Haram. Chika Odua for VOA News, Meduguri, Nigeria.